Today I have a shabby chic collaboration with Crafting Cousins. The channel and video links will be in the description box. I have two projects today, so keep watching. Alright, project number one is going to be a shadow box collage. I've got a thrifted card, some paper roses. This is a little metal frame They're from the thrift store. These little keys came from Michael's a very long time ago. It's an envelope and some stickers. And these have some gold trim on them. And then this thrifted box, very pretty. Has a lock on the side, nice little piece. And then I have some of this Martha Stewart paper. This was thrifted. And it has very pretty variety of colors, all of which I think would look good with Victorian or Shabby Chic. And then look at these pictures, y'all. These came from a thrift store and they are old and absolutely beautiful. I could not believe that somebody put these in a used pile in a I don't want you anymore pile oh my heart is breaking these pictures have so much history look at that and I really think that they need to have a little more life and we need to give them a little life back so I'm gonna choose one of these in my project look at this pretty lady and this sweet little girl Okay, so the box has already been cleaned. It's been wiped down and the glass is clean. Now I'm going to choose the paper that I want to use as the background. This is just a piece of fabric over a piece of like foam board, I think. I'm going to take this card and since I really like the print on the inside, that's what we're going to use. I'm just going to measure it off here, cut it out, and I will trim it down a little bit smaller later. And then she used this as a backing behind this picture. This is the one I chose. It's a very pretty lady. I'm going to use some double-sided tape here and gently put these as far over into the corners as I can so that there's no damage later. If I remove it and press it down. Now there's a space when you press down on that foam backing where the paper just slides right in, which is perfect because there are a bunch of little bitty screws on the back that I did not want to have to fool with. So I can just press that down in there. And that's perfect. Easy. And it stays down. I don't have to glue it or anything. So now I'm just going to get my positioning down for where I want to put my picture. And this is where I decide that I want to trim it down some. Doing this collage reminds me so much of scrapbooking, which is something that I used to enjoy in the early 2000s, but I've gotten away from it. But this was a lot of fun for me to do. I'm just taking some of this old lace ribbon. I'm going to say it's old. It was with a bunch of very old stuff that I got at the thrift store with sewing supplies and things like that. So it has a little age to it. You could probably find something similar at a sewing or notion store yourself. Just going to use a little bit of hot glue. Not a thick bead because it's lace and I would definitely burn myself. Plus, if I'm careful with it, I could probably reuse it if I decided to take this apart. Just turning the corners under there and tacking them down. This does not have to be perfect. Now it's all trimmed up. We get to decide where everything's going to go. I'm going to use my handy dandy glue gun and press one of these paper flowers into the corner. Because there is some space in there, that flower fits perfectly. And look how this slides straight into that lace. I'm just going to use a little bit of glue to keep it from sliding around, although it fits in there pretty tightly. Now, I got some of this from Dollar Tree reusable gel tape. I'm trying it out for the first time. It's kind of weird to cut 
I'm not really sure other than tearing it with my fingers and my scissors are pretty sharp but it looks kind of kind of goofy the way I'm doing it here but it worked and I'm happy to say that so far nothing has fallen off I'm going to do a little bit of tape in each of the high points on these corners and if you use a frame like this just be sure you cut off anything in the back that would keep it from laying flush I'm just going to try to center it and then press it down I found one of these pins at the thrift store it looked Victorian to me so I think it is suitable for shabby chic and I'm just going to place it down in a corner and it has some little rosettes on it that match sort of what I have going on with the rose in the corner so now since I had two of these keys I wanted to see which one of these would look best in this frame and I think that this one does because it kind of mimics the the cutouts in that little frame there that's around the picture put another flower in the corner there's a cameo in the top this also came from the thrift store I just don't know why people give this kind of stuff away now this is probably not an authentic piece of anything but she sure looks pretty and I decided to try a little bit of that tape on this key and again it's holding up this metal key it is indeed a metal key not plastic now I'm going to take a piece of this gold ribbon and going to make a bow very simple you could see how I did that simple simple And just take a thinner piece of gold ribbon and tie it around the center I thought that this would be enough for this picture but then when I looked at it I thought no it needs to be a little more fancy because it's shabby chic and it should be more bulky it should have more substance it should look richer so I decided to double some up and these are I think I have about seven inches on these lengths of ribbon and I'm just gonna take some of the cotton I guess it's twine that I got from Dollar Tree and I use it in a lot of projects especially things that have a, a light color like this and just went ahead and tied that in the middle to hold those together and I'm going to move that off and add that to the stack and tie it down Now, of course, the fluffing and the trimming. Got to take that piece of twine off of there. And I decided to use some of that sticky tape on here, too. I'll let you guys know how this works. If things don't stay where they're supposed to, you'll hear about it in another video. Now, I'm just pressing down quite firmly. I did hold that for a minute just to make sure it was bonded. And I'm going to trim the thicker part of the edge of this ribbon off because I want to use it on that key at first I had one and then I put two I put it I doubled it over and put the loop through the middle and then just kind of pulled it through so that I could have a little embellishment on the key didn't want it to be too much but I wanted to add some richness and some gold on there I'm gonna add a little piece underneath here excuse my head and then I have some of these stickers and these came with the set of cards that I got at Goodwill I find beautiful cards all the time at Goodwill I don't even buy cards anymore I have a box where I collect all kinds of beautiful cards for different occasions so I'm just adding those around I even put one on the key here make sure it doesn't come off and then I have a little floral bouquet here I wanted to add some florals so I just added it on top of that bronze heart looking back I should have left that bronze heart alone it was perfect the way it was but I thought I needed to add it at the time and then I'm taking a pearl bead and putting it right in the center of that bow and trimming up the edges I'm just doing little slants here on this bow
what do you think about this project? I probably could have added much, much, much more. I did get a little inspiration from Pinterest. I saw Shabby Chic is not something that I have in my house, but I do watch a few people who specialize in Shabby Chic, and I have looked on Pinterest at a few ideas. So this is my creation from inspiration, and I really had a lot of fun doing this. Do you like it? Does this look shabby chic to you? If y'all see one of these frames, you really need to pick it up. Be sure you follow me on my social media, Pinterest and Instagram. Project number two, a shabby framed art. This is a cutout from a card. I just cut that right out. Then I have some doilies here. This is part of a pad of paper. It looks kind of old to me, a little retro, and I got this from Goodwill. This is a scrap of cardboard paper and a beautiful white frame. It doesn't have a backing or anything. I have some gold, splendid gold paint here, and then I'll actually have two paintbrushes. Then I have scraps of ribbon and some other ribbon that I've gotten from the thrift store. I think I have that came off of a project a very long time ago, and then I think I have a little bit of that. Yes, that, that one right there came from Dollar Tree. So I have a variety of whites and creams and pink and gold. This one is a more of a buttery cream color. Okay, so I wanna add some gold onto this white frame. So I'm just going to, I changed out my brushes. I'm just gonna use this brush, load up a little paint, bounce it off, and then start rubbing it across here on the high points of this frame. And this frame already had some, I don't know if it was intentional aging on it or what but it had some um, distressing already you can see it on the bottom I think it was intentional it matches too closely for it to have been an accident but then I'm gonna go around here and hit all the veining and the little shadows and the cracks with this gold paint this is gonna give it a little bit of richness I think And then I'm going to take this flat, smaller brush and use it to go around this inside square in the frame. I shook up my paint and it's still giving me this, which I love so I'm not complaining, but it's still giving me this more of a sheer look right now and I'm, I'm totally fine with that. That's exactly what I wanted on these projects. It's just a memory of the gold. I don't want it to to be glam. I just want it to be shabby chic. So just done that all the way around and once that is done you just set it aside and let it dry. It doesn't take long because we didn't put a lot of paint on here in the first place. So while that is drying, I'm going to choose the paper that I want, and I like this, the newspaper print. So I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going to get my piece cut to fit that piece of cardboard. So I've just easily done that, lined it up with a ruler and a pencil, and now I'm cutting it out. So I'm going to take my purple glue stick, and I'm going to rub it all over there. And remember that this purple actually disappears so when you see it later on when I'm crafting you'll know you don't have to be totally neat with it but I want to be sure that I don't miss any spots so I'm just taking my little tool here and flatten it all out next I'm gonna add the doily and if you've ever used these before then you know they stick together and they are pretty thin but they really stick together so for instance this looks like one but it's not it's two but you have to be very careful not to tear these and just kind of work your way around the the little laser cuts there and it'll come apart 
This is what I mean by the mess. Look at this mess that I'm making here. But I want to be sure that I have good coverage so this doesn't start to peel away. I'm going to place this down off to the side. I'm going to hold with one hand and then press and rub with the other hand. I'm going to set it aside and let it dry. Now I'm going to start cutting strips for a big bow that I'm going to make. These are 7 inch strips and I'm just going to use a variety of bows. You can use torn fabric, you can use drop cloth, you can use an old t-shirt, you can use anything you want to. You just want to get a bunch of strips and these are the ones that I've chose because they coordinate and they're going to match well with the other project that I did. So you're just going to cut those into pieces. The more you put on there, the better it's going to be, in my humble opinion. Just going to keep adding to it. This little piece of ribbon is beautiful. It's got little pearl beads in the middle of it. Just gorgeous. So keep trimming it. And then the last piece that I cut is going to be the piece that goes around the center of it. It's going to bind it together. Adding in some gold. This is old spool of gold ribbon too that was thrifted. Very pretty. I like this color gold. Okay, so this is what I do. I like to X them over and kind of make sure that I don't have the exact ones laying there. I kind of want to mix it up so there's no particular pattern. But I've seen it done other ways. I've seen where you just stack them all in the middle and tie them off. And that's okay too. You do it whichever way makes you happy. This is just for me. Lined it up, making it look nice and pretty. Okay, so there's that last piece of ribbon. It's about nine inches long. I'm just gonna flip that stack over and tie these in a tight knot. You can do one or two knots, whichever one you wanna do. And then the string that is left is going to be incorporated into the bow. So that's just going to be part of the bow and we don't have to trim anything off. So this is almost completely dry. I'm going to go ahead and put the glue on the back of my rose cutout. You could use a sticker if you don't have a card that you want to cut out. And I'm just going to pat that down. And then I'm going to flatten it out nicely. Really press it down into the other layers. And see, almost all of that purple glue is dried now. You can't really see it. And you won't be able to see it all when it's dry. Now I'm going to add the other key that we had in that set. And I'm going to use some gold paint to do that. And I really want to give this one a good coat of gold paint. And it sticks quite nicely to the chippy white paint that was already on there. You want to let that key dry nicely. And in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and get this ready to put in the frame. So I'm going to put glue in the corners. And then just carefully around the very outside so that it doesn't show into our opening in the front. So I'm going to flip it over and try to center it and make sure that I don't cover up any of those cutouts in the frame itself. And then in order to get rid of some of the whiteness that is in that picture, since the rest of it looks kind of aged, I'm just going to go ahead and take that dry gold that was already on that brush and I'm just going to brush over the paper all over the inside on the image and on the doily to just make it look a little more cohesive. And this time I'm gonna use a little bit of hot glue. This is Gorilla Glue in my Sure Bonder. And then we're just gonna pray, press that down. And the last step for this project is to add a bow right into the corner. And that's all there is to that craft. If you haven't tried Shabby Chic, I hope that you consider it. This was a lot of fun.
thank you so much to Trish and Kay from Crafting Cousins for all the support they've given me since I started my channel and for doing this collaboration. It was a lot of fun and I enjoy you girls so much. If you enjoy this type of content, I put out videos three times a week and I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. If budget-friendly crafting and DIYs are your thing, you're at the right channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'll see you again real soon. Bye.